Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody is having a great Saturday. So you know what that means. Today is Mystery Saturday. So let's see what we're going to pick. So let's open it up and give it a little toss. And let's pick. Well, if I can get a hold of it. And the winner is Hibernation Day. And that is by Beth Twist with um, Heartstring Samplery, which is a counted cross stitch. So I will be right back with that project. Hang in there, guys. Be right back. All right, I am back. This is what Hibernation Day looks like. I have changed some of the colors because I thought, I don't know, it's just too green for me and you can't see anything. Some of these pictures are just horrible. This is a 2013 release from Heartstring Samplery, which is by Beth Twist. And, I don't know if you can tell, let me get rid of these things and get them out of my way so I can actually stitch. Um, this is all I've gotten done. I changed the lettering to a blue, and I'm not real sure what color that is. It is 311. So it's kind of a dark blue. Put it right there. But yeah. I I just I can't begin to tell you what I did and didn't change. I know I changed the lettering for right now. That's all I've gotten. And then I thought after I got this far down, I'd figure out what color I was gonna you know, further down, I would figure out what color I was gonna do the house. I don't know, it's just done on a greeny chitin fabric, and I really didn't like it. But green is not my favorite color. So anyway, it's done on 16 count Country French Latte by Witchlet. And, yeah. So, what is everybody up to? We're almost across here. I think I've got one more word after I get the word flakes in there and then I have to go back and finish winter and then that lettering will be done I have to see what is going on let's see here I haven't worked on this for a while so that's kind of fun pull out something that I haven't quite worked on for a while. Last night I worked a little bit on the little bird uh, sampler and I started the uh, the two bird sampler. I'm doing it on Lugana in like a uh, sulky that is multicolored so I don't know if it'll all be like that or if I'll change the color of the the birds I haven't decided yet so I didn't get too far on those things I don't know I was just tired yesterday just completely tired I didn't go out didn't go anywhere I don't believe didn't feel the need Well, that doesn't look right. Let me look. Three, one, two, one. I didn't, oh. Oh, I see what I did. Take a it. Like there, it's just not enough space to put those in. Messing up already, guys. Messing up already. So I thought I'd possibly run to the post office before I had to go to work, which is at 2.15. So we'll see if I get that accomplished or not. It's about 
30 degrees out there. It's supposed to get up to 54 today. I was like, yay! Finished my uh, audiobook set. The um, Nora Roberts set, The Guardian. I just whipped right through that in three days. Possibly four. But I was home, so it gave me something to do. Dang it. But just kind of being a couch potato yesterday. And get a hold of this silly needle. It's probably a 28. Because like I said, that's usually what I stitch with. Oh, for pity's sake. What else did I work on? I don't think I worked on anything else. Just, just not much of anything. My daughter's supposed to go uh, with a friend from work to uh, Cripple Creek, which is a, well, it's a gambling mecca now. They changed a lot of that around in the 30 years that I haven't been there. We'll just do this stitch backwards. And uh, they're going to spend all night there. Oh, for Pete's sake. You know, some days you just cannot stitch to save your soul. Okay. We'll get it, guys. We'll get it. So she'll be gone until Sunday sometime. Hey. There we go. We're about on track now, guys. About on track. I was like, that won't go there. That won't fit. Molly, she's been barking at everything that jumps or moves, I swear. I don't know what her problem is. Some days. Yesterday was really nice. But it's still in the process of uh, drying up. You know? It's melting off all the snow, of course. We're supposed to get it's supposed to. A little bit of snow. It's at one to three inches. Now, that won't happen today, but, uh, which I'm glad, because heaven knows I, I have to work. So, and I found out I got to work Tuesday, so I'll be working Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Then I'll have Wednesday, Thursday off, and Thursday is my granddaughter's birthday. So, yay. I don't know what we're doing food-wise for that day or if we're just having cake and ice cream. It'll be whatever my daughter whips together. Usually we do a dinner. But, uh, so I don't have a clue. So I have to get all that stuff together. Bought all this so long ago, it's like I can almost remember what I bought. But, oh, and I made an order yesterday from to 123 Stitch. So we won't be here for a couple weeks, who knows. see how long that takes. It's not a big deal. Still waiting on this stuff from Everyday E-Crafts. I looked up on the uh, thing, you know, you can see where the package is at. And it went from China, it looks like, to Canada, to Chicago, 
and now it's on its way to uh, Grand Prairie, Texas. So we'll see. It sure is taking its sweet time getting here. Oh, come on. I think I'd never crossed stitch before. <coughs> I got it. Three little stitches I gotta put in here and we'll have this word done. Then we can go on to a different word. Why does it Oh it is weird. Okay. I don't know, these letters are not straight or even. They're just kind of funky. See what I mean? It's it that's the way it looks on the pattern. What can I say? <sighs> so, yeah, just not, I don't know, I'm not in the mood to work all weekend, but I don't have a choice, so, because that girl is out of town, so it's only four days, and then I'll have, like I said, I'll have Tuesday, no, Uh, Wednesday and Thursday off. I had to think about that. Wednesday and Thursday off. And then I will work. Uh, work Friday. And then I'll have my three. Like Saturday, Sunday, Monday off. So. Fun times. Fun times. But I really didn't work on much of anything in three days. I mean, just. Just here and there. And. Taking it easy and just not really caring what I worked on. So, I didn't order anything else. I got two patterns. And don't ask me what the other one is. I've forgotten. Oh, I think it's called Birds and Bees. Birds and Bees, maybe from, uh, I want to say ink circles, because it was like, I just couldn't figure out what I wanted, and, yeah, you ever just know that nothing appeals to you? It's kind of like going to the grocery store at some times, you know? It, it's bizarre. Okay, so from there, I got Hanging in there, guys, I'm trying to figure it out. why I did that that way. I like staying on the top here. It's easier to to stitch. Ninety percent of the time. So I didn't get much much accomplished in two days. I was tired yesterday. Got up early. And then by, like, 9 o'clock, I laid back down for another two hours. Then I got up, and about 3.30 or so, I laid back down for another couple hours. And then I went to bed about 1 o'clock. Just couldn't get it together for nothing. I don't know if it's just a time change kicking in or what exactly is going on with my body but I just can't stay awake just can't stay awake Paid some bills. Ooh, I know. We are having hot fun now. I'm telling you, not much. Not much goes on here. 
It seemed kind of quiet in the neighborhood, and my days are all screwed up. I kept thinking today was Tuesday. And it, it just seemed like, well, my days are off, so today should be Tuesday. Well, no, because, see, I'm usually off Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and then the next day is Tuesday. I was thinking, no. It's like, wow, it's only Saturday. Yay! So I, I'm really off schedule. Off, off, off. So not much going on. But I'll be glad to get Wednesday and Thursday off. I don't think I have to go out and get anything else for my granddaughter's birthday or anything. My daughter said she was going to order a cake. They usually do that at the grocery store. In fact, the the lady that makes the cakes at the the grocery store. Well, not well. She does. She decorates the cakes because they don't make the cakes there. I don't think. I don't know how that works. Never worked in the bakery, so not real clear. But uh, she's the one that my daughter is going with. to uh, Cripple Creek. She asked her if she wanted to go, and they've been friends for years. Ever since my daughter was, like, somewhere in high school. Because she had friends, well, not friends, she has kids, one kid, that uh, is about this, uh, within five years of my daughter. But uh, they got acquainted years ago. So... Fun times, and she's usually the one that makes the birthday cake. Let's see what I'm doing here. Okay. You know, you just start in, and you think you know what you're doing, and then all of a sudden, you're lost. No. It's just letters, and they're not very big compared to what I've been working on. So I was giving the, the Bristol sampler a a breather here for eh, a little bit. We don't want to overdo it, you know. I only got 17 gazillion more stitches to go. But I don't count stitches, as you know. I just don't believe in it. I just stitch. I guess that's why I don't like to join in on those stitch alongs, you know, where. Oh, stitch. What do you call it? Uh, uh, 200 stitches or whatever. No. Oh, it might help. Oh, for pity's sake. No, that, that just doesn't appeal to me at all. Not at all. A little crap. Oh, I just frick. Really? I'm telling you guys. Some days. Okay, let's try this again. First, let's get a bigger piece of thread, because that ain't working. <sighs> I 
Ugh. feel like I'm going to sneeze. It's sneezing time. Not that I've seen anything green out there growing. I know, it's what you can't see in the, uh, oh, shit. the pollen on the, what do you call it, evergreens, it doesn't bother me. Not whatsoever. Didn't watch anything fantastic on YouTube. I finished that book, and then later on I briefly turned on, uh, what do you call it? Marco Polo. Just because I knew what was going on, because I was trying to stitch on that uh, two-bird sampler. Or two-bird, I don't know what it's called. Just two birds, I think. Okay, let's try this again. I was trying to make an E, and I'm supposed to be making a T. I would have been pissed if I'd gotten that E in. So see, there was a reason why I stopped. Okay. <coughs> Try again. Many six. These little raspberry looking things, they were really cute. They were nice and easy to stitch. No problem, I breezed right through them. Okay. Strange lettering. I'm used to doing more involved lettering. I can't get over the fact it's over with in five minutes here. But yeah, I just changed up some of the colors so it would be more vivid. Because this picture is horrible. It's just all melded into one. You can't see anything. I don't know what color. Let me see. Model is stitched on 28... On DMC 28 count natural. It looks green to me. It's just bizarre. And you can't hardly see the lettering. The, what you call it? The lettering is supposed to be done in, I think, Piney Woods. But it's one of those, what do you call it? Variegated threads not happening for me so it didn't have a DMC conversion at all so I just kind of guessed now we can put that crazy E in It is going to be a long day, but at least I only have to work till 9. Which is yay for me. I hate that work until 10 o'clock at night. It just drives me nuts. And we're not real busy yet. You know, like on the weekend. So that doesn't help matters much.
maybe we'll get these two lines. There's no... I was looking to see if there was a comma or anything going on there, but there isn't. No commas, no periods. I don't think it were like the end of a sentence, so, so that doesn't help. Okay. One more letter to go, guys. And this is not a biggie. I had to see if I was supposed to go up or down with that one. Jeez. So, I don't know. It's going to be 54 today, and then tomorrow, I think, it's supposed to snow a little bit in the afternoon. But we'll see. This time of year, it usually isn't much, and if it dumps it, dumps wet heavy snow none of it is that fine powder stuff so we'll see heck they've been known to be wrong all right we got all that done i think that's going to be about it today guys thanks for joining me today for our mystery saturday so every Saturday we have a Mystery Saturday and I pull something out of the container. It's either going to be counted cross stitch or it's going to be um, pre-stamped. <coughs> so it's just the luck of the draw. So this is what we had today. Thank you for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell. And that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, God bless, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.